Hi everybody, I'm Doug and this is my assistant Carrie and we got more news for you. Let's jump right in it. Okay, so this is crazy but we have a sponsor. We have another sponsor? Yeah, Marine Data Solutions. Marine Data Thanks. Solutions. Oh, those guys are great. Marine Data Solutions provides the uh, internet for all the yachts. Uh, they, they do a really good job. I mean, it's, it's I can't say enough good things about them. Okay, awesome. uh, Oh, so, wait. Uh, you know Mike, uh, the owner, he just got married? Oh, congratulations. Oh yeah, do you know his wife? Yeah. Ooh, hubba hubba. We're totally gonna lose that sponsor. Oh. Oh my god. Oh wait, I got another, uh, you know, Joey, who's the manager over there, he gave me some stats from their servers. He said that uh, video streaming uh, is peaking out from 11 to 2 a.m. What's that all about? I don't know. I don't know, people having a hard time sleeping. Uh, must Lots be. of anxiety out there. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, next. Well, it turns out, and I don't know if this is a lot, but in just like a week's time, we have over 4,400 views. 4,400 views? Like 55 shares. In a week? That's like a week. I don't know if that's good or not, but. I have no idea. I think that's, is that more than Seinfeld? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know if that's good or not, but well, okay. We have a Marine Report. Oh, Marine Report. Good. Next. Go ahead. From Captain Johnny V. Captain Johnny Rogers, excuse me, from Yacht um, Audrey's Place. Yeah, oh, okay, the report from uh, Captain Johnny. Captain Johnny reports that Fernandina Beach Marina is open and fueling, Charleston uh, is open and fueling, and Southport and Cape Fear is open and Yay. fueling. So for you boats that are going north, at least you got a place to stop for fuel. Uh, next episode, I got a lot of information about Newport. I'll get into that next. I just got to kind of look over the info. America's okay. Open it back up again. Uh, maybe. I love it. Okay. okay, so we have the first question. Finally. I'm going to kill you. Okay. Um, Tommy Heath from Portland, Oregon wants to know what's Carrie's phone number? Tommy Heath? Do you know? Okay, him? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you once. Carrie's phone number is 8675 309. Sorry. Uh, if she's not there, ask uh, her sister Jenny will answer. You'll, you'll get through. I can't believe you memorize it. That's the right number. Yeah. Okay, next. Uh, we have a question from a, a new crew member who wants to remain anonymous, but wants to know some do's and don'ts when you are interviewing. Okay, when you're interviewing. Okay, you guys are going to get back to work sooner or later, so now's the time to kind of polish it up. First rule, it's not below deck. That is not real. We don't go out for two-day charters and then party our butts off for another 24 hours, okay? By the way, while they're all doing that, there's a whole secret crew cleaning the boat in the background. We don't have secret crews. Second rule is don't show up drunk. you think that that would be easy to remember. It's not. Third, shave, put a polo shirt on. Fourth, don't ask about vacation time three minutes after the interview starts. We don't want to hear that. Tattoos. Oh, tattoos. But for yachting. Okay, some boats like tattoos, some don't, okay? I happen to take tattoo crew, uh, but I'm not gonna take a crew with tattoos with a skull and crossbones <laughs> all the way down their arm. It's gonna look ridiculous in epaulette shirts. It is kinda too much. It's kinda too much. Comb your hair. Okay, last thing. If, if, if you worked April 30th and May 1st as day work, don't put day work April to May. Don't make it look like it's two months, it was two days. Yeah. Be honest in the interview, be honest on your resume, you'll get the job. Next. Uh, Captain Mike V from Yacht Magnet wants to know where the term cockpit came from. The term cockpit, okay. Long time ago, there used to be a station where the coxswain would drive the boat. The coxswain? Might be coxswain. Coxswain. I was a coxswain in the Coast Guard, or coxswain. All right, so, so obviously the cockpit was the coxswain's area to drive. Now, I looked it up. The earliest use of the term was in 1580, okay? And the definition of cockpit is a pit for fighting cocks. What the hell is that about? I don't think they were talking about chickens. Well, what are you taking a pit <laughs> for anyway? I don't understand That's that. That's barbaric times. Okay, next. You have some thank yous? Oh, I got some thank yous. Okay, to Tony from Captain's On Call, to Fort Lauderdale Yachties, uh, Conrad, and to Mullen at Fort Lauderdale Yacht Crew, thank you very much for letting us post our videos on your Facebook thank sites. You. We really appreciate it. Super cool. Super cool. Yeah. I think that's it. That was the bottom line. Did I forget bottom anything? Line. That's the name of the show. The, the bottom line. Maybe. So we'll goodbye from episode six from the bottom line. That's it. We'll Bye. see you next time.